so now we will be discussing about the next gland okay now what is the which is the next gland children now next gland is parathyroid so just now as i told first of all i write the heading parathyroid okay so parathyroid is a gland okay actually you no know, four uh, glands are present four parathyroid are you no know, it's uh, they are inside the thyroid gland itself so in the thyroid gland which is attached to the oven pipe or trachea the four thyroid uh, parathyroid glands are uh, you know they are inside the thyroid gland now what is the function of this parathyroid gland okay what is the function of this parathyroid gland children so it secretes hormone which is known as parathormone okay it secretes parathormone which is you know regulates uh, the level of the which checks the level of the calcium and phosphate in the blood we won't be discussing this parathyroid in detail okay so we'll just uh, finish up uh, parathyroid in this two three lines only so how to begin and what shall i write children so parathyroid four uh, parathyroid i should say children so four small parathyroid glands okay four small parathyroid glands are present are present in the thyroid gland okay four parathyroid glands are present four parathyroid glands are present in the thyroid gland okay now when i am saying it is present embedded i i can say even the word you know i can even say embedded that four small parathyroids are embedded in the thyroid gland now what is the uh, secretion known as i'll write in this way this is the first point hormone secreted okay so then there will be no need to rub so the hormone which is secreted is parathormone okay we are talking about what we are talking about parathyroid okay what is parathyroid it is a gland these are four in numbers these are very small and embedded in the thyroid gland okay then what is the hormone which is secreted the hormone which is secreted is parathormone and what is the function of it it regulates it regulates okay it regulates the level of the calcium and phosphates in the blood okay in the blood okay so it regulates the level of the calcium and phosphates in the blood see i have written here formula and here i have written phosphates okay so what is parathyroid these are four glands very small gland are embedded in the thyroid and what is the function it secretes a hormone which is known as parathormone and what is the function of parathormone children to check the level to regulate the level of the calcium and the phosphate in the blood okay now what is next children this was our which number gland i do not even remember the number of the gland first of all we have discussed pineal then hypothalamus then pituitary okay then we have also uh, discussed about the thyroid gland and then parathyroid so this one is fifth one okay so now we will be discussing about the sixth gland okay so again we'll have to talk we have to see uh, about the diagram now at the lower level okay below the 
wind pipe okay now below the wind pipe is again one gland okay below the wind pipe is again one gland and this gland is thymus okay this gland is known as which gland children thymus okay so you know below this is just you know i can say the glands are this lungs are present okay here so here the lungs are present so children just you only think where this thymus is present children okay now we are talking about which gland we are talking about thymus okay we are talking about which gland we are talking about now next gland sixth gland which is thymus hmm? now this thymus is present you can see over here thymus it is in between it is situated in between it is situated in between what it one side the wind uh, pipe is there so see it is what lower part of the wind pipe isn't it lower part of the neck i can say okay lower uh, part of the what it is present children where let me write it is present on the lower part of okay so it is present you can see over here it is present on the this one is totally i'm talking about neck and this is the chest part isn't it is, is it visible or not okay so this is the lower part of what children neck so this is the lower part of the neck and the upper part of the chest okay so where this is present children this thymus i am talking about which gland now i am talking about thymus gland i am talking about which gland i am talking about thymus gland now where it is present children it is present on the lower region of the neck okay lower region of the neck and upper part of the chest so it is present between the neck region and the this chest part okay so the lower part of the neck and the upper part of the chest is it clear okay so we are talking about the hormone th uh, gland thymus which is present above the this chest part and below the neck part okay now which hormone does it secrete children it secretes the hormone which is also known as thymus okay it is secreting which hormone children it secretes it secretes thymus hormone it is the name is also thymus okay so it is secreting thymus hormone now what is the function of thymus children you know it develops the immune system okay it develops the immune system in the children so it is more effective it is you know i can say it is you know you know working condition it works properly in the children after the puberty actually this gland becomes small okay then it doesn't works as much as it because you know it is required more in children okay the immune system has to be you know like you might have observed that the children they become ill very soon isn't it just because of the little change in climate and this and that and they become ill so immune system has to be more like it has to be developed so it secretes thymus hormone okay what does it do it develops it develops immune system okay it develops immune system 
in children and later on what happens after puberty after puberty it gets shrinken okay or it gets shrink so when does it get shrink children when the person when the child becomes uh, you know in the adolescent age okay in the adolescent age this gland won't work as it was working during the childhood so we are talking about what we are talking about thymus gland which is present below the neck region and above the chest region what is the hormone which is secreted the hormone which is secreted is thymus and what it is doing it is it develops the immune system in the children and so uh, when the child grows up in the adolescent stage this gland shrinks up and do not work as it used to work in the childhood stage okay so this is about the which hormone about the th uh, thymus hormone now we'll be discussing about the pancreas okay for discussing about the pancreas i again have to clean the board because again now we'll be discussing about few more uh, uh, glands like pancreas is left then testes is there ovaries is there isn't it so again few are left and so uh please note this down and i will be rubbing the board and then we'll be discussing about the next hormone okay now we will talk about the next gland okay so the next gland is what children the next gland is pancreas so let me write the name first of all we are talking about pancreas okay we are talking about pancreas now so first of all we have started all the glands with the uh, position with the location isn't it where is it is present so children pancreas is you all might be drawn this diagram many a times you know because uh, we are drawing very often it is there in the course of 7th and 8 uh, we have to draw digestive system so whenever uh, you have drawn digestive system uh, you uh, might have drawn and you i'm sure you have drawn even the pancreas isn't it because it is present just below the stomach pancreas is present just below the stomach okay so i'll just draw first of all children because after drawing it becomes easy to understand so if this is the stomach okay if this is the stomach then here is the pancreas a uh, leaf sort of a structure so this is our what pancreas okay so to start first point is what i will not write first point here first point it is present just below okay it is present just below the stomach okay pancreas is a gland which is present just below the stomach now what does pancreas secrete children pancreas secrete a hormone which is known as insulin okay it secretes a hormone called insulin okay it secretes a hormone which is known as insulin now what this insulin is doing what is the function of insulin so this insulin is very very important because it breaks the sugar it regulates the metabolism of the sugar okay you might have seen many person who uh, you know have to take the injection of the insulin why because if insulin won't be there in the blood okay so what will happen the sugar level of the uh, blood will increase even in the urine okay the urine 
uh, the, the, the sugar in the blood and in the urine get increased and then the person is known as diabetic okay then the person is known as diabetic so we'll go first you know one by one so we are talking about which gland we are talking about pancreas where is it present children it is present just below the stomach okay what does it secrete children it secretes a hormone which is known as insulin what it is known as it is known as insulin okay now if this is less okay deficiency of insulin causes diabetes okay directly only i am writing the name of the disease over here that if this pancreas do not secrete insulin properly then what will happen the disease will occur which is known as what diabetes okay so a disease will occur which is known as what diabetes okay now so what actually insulin is doing children insulin regulates okay i can say it regulates or it breaks okay okay it regulates the metabolism of sugar okay and when insulin is not present then what will happen the sugar level will get increase now see we are talking about the pancreas it is situated just below the stomach okay now if the pancreas is secreting insulin properly okay if pancreas is secreting insulin properly then what will be happening properly the breakdown the metabolism of the sugar will take place properly okay that means what is the function of insulin the metabolism of the sugar breakdown of the sugar is the function as the sugar uh, you know is formed in the blood it is broken by the insulin you know so what is happening insulin is very important as it is met, it keeping the check on the level of the what sugar when the sugar increases then the person is known as that which disease he is suffering from he is uh, suffering from the disease which is known as diabetes and he himself will be known as diabetic okay he will be known as that he is a diabetic patient diabetes uh, he is suffering from and he will be known as a diabetic okay so now what is happening if insulin is not secreted in diabetes what happens children in diabetes level of sugar get increase in the blood and urine okay so if insulin won't be secreted in proper amount if insulin won't be secreted in the proper amount then the person will suffer from the disease which is known as diabetes now what is happening in the diabetes in the diabetes the level of the sugar okay in the diabetes the level of the sugar will increase where it will increase in the blood and in the urine where it will increase it will increase in the blood and in the urine okay so you know uh while teaching hormones also i uh, i i you know we have discussed this thing that if it is less okay the hormone is less it will be unfruitful if the hormone is secreted in more amount then also it won't be very good for us if insulin is secreted more then you know the person can even go in the coma coma why because the sugar will be you know it will be uh, uh, getting divided again again so the person won't be having so much of energy only so you know there is a feedback mechanism which i'll be explaining uh, afterwards that what is happening that when the insulin is increased in the body okay or when more of insulin is uh, formed or in the simpler way insulin is present in the body it is breaking the sugar why it doesn't keeps on breaking always 
how does the insulin comes to know that the now we have like now there is no need of breaking of sugar so that will be in feedback mechanism that will be talking about so again come to the point children we are talking about the gland pancreas which is secret which is present below the stomach it is uh, very very important as it secretes insulin what is the function of insulin insulin uh, keep regulates the or it uh, uh, is helping in the metabolism or it metabolizes the sugar okay if insulin is not secreted in the proper amount in the body the person will suffer from diabetes what is the characteristics or what are the symptoms i should say of the diabetes so uh, you know uh, what happens in the symptoms of diabetes the person feels very giddy he sometimes feel weak you know uh, the uh, you know if the person very important thing if the person get some time of some some type of wound you know if he gets hurt that healing won't take place children that healing won't take place because uh, so much of sugar is there in the body that it doesn't allow the wound to get healed up okay so the, uh, all these are the symptoms of diabetes okay so what uh, happens in diabetes actually the sugar get increased where will it increase it will increase in the blood and urine okay so this is how the insulin affects the body okay what okay you know uh, actually if the diabetes get increased to a certain extent it if if increase if it has increased too much it can even affect the eyesight you know it can even affect the eyesight and many many disastrous effect are there of the diabetes diabetes is also again of two types which we will we won't be discussing so we won't uh, take the chapter also now so this is all about the diabetes about the insulin about the pancreas two more points i would be uh, adding over here how diabetes can be cured children by taking proper diet proper diet means which kind of diet children sugarless diet isn't it sugar free diet okay by proper exercise proper medicine medicine on time in time okay or at least on time so by taking how we can if a person is suffering from diabetes so how the person can get rid of this see diabetic is also a hereditary disease children okay first of all it is it is a hereditary disease and second thing uh, see there are we can divide the diseases into many different types isn't it there are certain diseases which uh, get you know cure very soon which takes little time but can be cured but there are certain diseases which are you know which do not it's not easy to uh, get rid of them diabetes is one of them you have to, if the person has got diabetes that means for whole of his life he will have to keep check on his diet for a whole of his life he will have to pay he will have to be very attentive to his blood level uh, i mean sugar level in the blood okay so it can be like how what is the cure for this there is like i can say there can be certain precautions by if the precautions are taken the level will not increase after certain extent okay so what can be that proper diet proper diet means what now sugar free diet again it depends upon the level of the sugar of the person that how much sugar he can take or how much sugar he has to avoid so purely depends upon the amount of sugar level in his uh, uh, blood okay so uh, whether he has to take sh totally sugar free diet or he can takes little bit of so depends upon the what is the sugar level okay that will be uh, the deciding factor now proper exercise exercise is important to be fit and healthy in each and every case okay exercise can be of any type maybe uh, you know the according to the age also so aerobics if i talk about a person who is 80 years old so he cannot do aerobics so it depends upon the age the convenience the into body structure 
the liking and disliking of a person but exercise has to be there even the meditation is a very uh, good thing so can be in any way maybe the walking isn't it walking running skipping uh, uh, yoga and uh, you know various kinds of so anything which suits the body which suits the age which suits the uh, you know it should if a person is suffering from uh, like if a person is a heart patient he cannot uh, run very fast he cannot skip very fast isn't it so it depends from person to person it depends from the diseases uh, which a person may acquire or may have or may be suffering from okay so next is medicine has to be taken on the time if medication is going on if the doctor has given some medicine then that those medicine has to be taken on the proper time okay so this is all about the pancreas i told two things i would like to include over here now second is pancreas is pancreas x as both both means what children exocrine and endocrine gland okay so uh, pancreas x as both exocrine gland and endocrine gland we have discussed this thing so i won't be discussing this thing again so as exocrine gland the secretion comes into the duct like pancreatic juice goes into pancreatic duct okay and when we talk about the endocrine gland so we all have discussed now that endocrine as an endocrine gland it secretes a hormone which is what which is which one insulin okay so just uh, justing of this pancreas is a gland which is situated just below the stomach okay leaf like sort of a structure and it secretes a uh, hormone which is known as insulin insulin keeps a check it regulates the uh, metabolism it is responsible for the metabolism of sugar if the insulin is not secreted properly if the pancreas is not working properly insulin won't be secreted properly if insulin is not secreted properly the person will suffer from diabetes what is the meaning of diabetes the person a person's uh, blood level uh, i'm again saying blood level uh, sugar level okay the sugar level of uh, the sugar in the blood and the urine both will get increased okay then how can the what are the symptoms of diabetes main important symptom the wound won't be healed okay the, the healing of the wound the wound won't get healed properly soon it won't get healed so what is a uh, important symptom of diabetes that the hills won't get uh, what i am saying hills won't the wounds won't get healed properly okay and soon also it won't get healed something is wrong wound won't get healed properly okay now by taking proper diet like Uh, as i told that these kind of diseases do not go uh, from the body it remains in the body for very very long time so what one has to do one has to take the precautions so that it should not increase it should be in the level how it can be done by taking sugar free food again depends upon the level of the person level of the sugar in the person's body okay age and many factors which we all have discussed then medicine has to be taken on time exercise whichever suits to the age of the person whichever suits to the uh, you know that particular disease like you know uh, should not exert the person more so all these points has to be noted and by doing actually by taking all these precautions one thing can be done that the level of the sugar can be kept as it is in the blood so now we'll be discussing about the next gland